one of the top teams and you go into it still with that, that good momentum of the recent form. Yeah, we, we're in a decent place at the moment and we want to keep that going. We've uh, got a tidy little run going, um, playing quite well. So we want to keep that going against one of the, the top boys in the league. You weren't happy with the defending at Newport on Tuesday, but I suppose second half much better than first. Does that show that it is something that's relatively straightforward to put right? Yeah, it's, it's but basically it's just in, that was individual mistakes or people not doing their jobs in terms of heading the ball or giving a throw in away or a cheap free kick away. So the players know where where they went wrong the other night, but we played quite well in terms of possession and with the ball we were quite good and. Um, could have easily won the game. Obviously, Notts County have got plenty of height and experience up front as well. How different will the test they have present be to the one that you had at Newport? Very similar, in terms of the, in terms of the um, the way they play. Very similar. They got t um, two focal points up front in John Stead and, and Shola Amiobi. Both both are and have been tremendous centre forwards and. If you've got those two players in your team, then you need to use them, and, and Notts County certainly do. You know they they scored an awful lot of goals from crosses, and um, and uh, you know they they play to their strengths, and we're going to have to be really on our guard to make sure we don't allow too many crosses into our box, and we mark properly in the box, and we're switched on at all times. Presumably, the one thing they're not going to offer in their thirties is perhaps as much pace as you might come up against on a regular basis. But how easy is that to prepare your defenders for that that challenge? Obviously, but like you, you always hear the old saying: the first five yards is in your head. And uh, I saw John Stead sprint past the Cheltenham centre half the other night to create the goal. So John Stead's very clever, you know, and he was a brilliant piece of forward play where he's ran past Grimes, I think it was. And, outpaced him and rolled the ball back for Terry Hawkridge so like I say we have to be aware on all fronts aerially on the floor and we have to make sure we don't give them too much room. Hayden Hollis has just told us that being his old club it makes it no different for him obviously you, you've you been back to Meadow Lane earlier this season is it anything like a special occasion for you? No not at all uh, it was a, it's a good lovely club good people um, big fan base brilliant stadium but it all comes down to 11 v 11 on the pitch on Saturday and, and that's that's how you coldly and calmly you have to look at it and that's what it is. But um, I enjoyed my short time there, did what I had to do and, and moved on. And actually when you're up against your former clubs, how important is it that you, know, you keep that sort of unemotional focus I suppose because you look at someone like Liam Noble, he might come back here and feel that he has got a point to prove. Yeah, obviously it's different personalities isn't it and I... Um, I can't get involved in, in that, I have to concentrate on my team and I can't get involved in the emotion of what's going on around me and I, and I have to make sure I'm focused on on what my players are doing and what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Injuries, how's the squad? We're in good health. We're, um, I think we're, I think everyone trained today so we're in good health. And when you've been climbing the table as you have. Do you do you reset the goals? Obviously, staying up is is the main thing. But you know, do you look to get you know, safe with a certain number of games to go? Is there is there any sort of resetting? Not for me. I, it's purely and simply the next game. Boring as that. I know that's really boring. But it has to be. Um, <clears throat> that has to be the focus because if you get too far ahead of yourself. And, uh, I had a little nibble, but I had a little question to the players the other night. If you start getting a little bit cocky like we did possibly at Newport in the first half. Football has a terrible habit of biting on the backside. And that's, in my opinion, why we conceded three goals. So we have to keep doing the basics right, um, realising what put us on this good run. And, and we have to continue to do those little, tiny little things. And the fact that you were unhappy with parts of Newport, does that show that the bar's been raised? Uh, we didn't match our... Standards defensively, we looked really solid defensively, but we didn't the other night as a collective. Not just the, not just the the four at the back, the goalkeeper. As a collective, we didn't look stable. It was a little bit of a um, unstable first half. Second half was better, but um, and it was down to doing the basics properly, i.e., follow instructions. Don't give silly free kicks away. Make sure you win your headers and pick the second ball. 
Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Mark, um, Lee Collins obviously stepped off the bench, got, got a goal. Does he give you a selection headache now for Saturday? Um, it doesn't give me a headache because I know exactly what he can and what he can't do. Uh, we, we've been playing well. Um, we had a really nasty virus that really shook him. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll see tomorrow and make sure everyone's OK before we finalise things. And his attitude while he's been on the sidelines has probably been what you would have expected. Of course, he was there pushing the team from the sideline the other night and cheerleading. So he's a good pro and, and very low maintenance. Yeah. Where do you see his best position at the moment for him? I think Lee can play right back. I think he can play centre back in a three as a sweeper. I think he can play in midfield. I think he does them all equally well. But, um, he's probably had his best spell as a, as a holding midfield player. Yeah. Christian Deutsch limped off. Is, is Christian going to be OK? He should be fine. He got a slight slight kick on his ankle when he looked as though he was going to tap tap the ball in and it was just tweaked um, a little bit of a nerve there but he, he was fine today. Great. Um, Kevin Nolan this week has come out and said some quite kind things about yourself, he said he enjoyed a beer with you at Notts County, yeah. is that going to be the same this end? Definitely yeah, if he wants to come in they're more than welcome, nice guys there you know, Kevin, uh, Richard, Mark Crosley, Alan Smith who I, I know well so good guys, done a done great job, it's difficult to pick up and, and take a team that uh, have, have struggled for the last few years and, and to get them competing for automatic promotion is um, is a tough thing to do and they've done it really well and after tomorrow I wish them really well. Yeah. Uh, finally, just one more for me. Manager of the Month was announced there. You were one of the nominees. Uh, John Coleman got mm. in. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, deservedly so for John. They had a really good month. They played a, they played a game extra um, than us so and managed to amass more points but... They've done brilliantly well this year and, um, you know, it's, like I say, it's recognition, our nomination that we've done all right and we want to keep that going.